Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 12th. Uh, this week, we're just going to jump right in here, Sagittarius, and we're going to see, and not February 12th, February 21st, uh, way off there, Sagittarius. But anyway, uh, we're going to see what is going on for you. This will be part one, and there will be a part two that is linked up in the pinned comment uh, down below. So uh, let's see here uh, what is going on for you. It's like you have a bunch of cards wanting to pop out here. I'm actually going to take all three uh, of those cards there for whatever reason. Um, and cards are flying as I'm pulling these out. So uh, a very active uh, energy here is what I would say to you. Uh, you start off with this flexible card. I mean, you know, part of me just feels like this is collective energy because I feel that, uh, you know, I mean, I've said this a million times before. I'll say it a million more. It's like with Neptune and Pisces, if we have a goal, wish, or dream, or if we think that something in our life is going to work a certain way, it's doubt it. <laughs> Not going to happen, right? Uh, but that doesn't mean stop. I think that's what people need to realize. Um, you know, if there's ever a time where we could you know, accomplish our wildest dreams. Uh, I would say it's right now, but, um, you know, number one, we're going to have to put the work in, number one. Number two, we're going to have to realize that we're probably not going to get there the way that we think we're going to get there. It's probably going to be something different. Uh, and I keep saying this because, again, I think it's a dominant, you know, again, it's kind of, you know, to think about Neptune and Pisces, it's kind of like the wild and crazy waves of the ocean. It's like you have to roll with the waves, you know, you have to become like a boat, right? And it's like you don't know where you're going. Think about it, if you're on the ocean so you don't know exactly where your boat's going to blow to but if you can find some like new lands i feel like you'll be very uh, successful but you have to be flexible in how you get there so uh, I, I think it's a good idea to have a plan like if you're like starting a business or starting a job or a career or a relationship to have a plan but that plan should include some flexibility like maybe you have an idea to market your business on youtube but maybe it would do better on facebook right and that's what i mean by being flexible just going somewhere else if what you're doing isn't working uh, same thing with love as well it's like maybe your plan is to uh, get married and have 100 children, but maybe you meet the love of your life and they only want 50. Pretty good compromise, you know? It's like, you know, that's pr still pretty good. So, you know, what I'd say here is be flexible because you're gonna get everything you want, just maybe not as quickly or exactly how you want. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Five of Swords here. It's like... You know, I really feel that this is kind of like maturity, the Ten of Swords for you. I kind of feel this for a lot of people. I'm not going to lie. I feel a lot of people are getting this Ten of Swords energy, and it's the universe is saying to us, like, hey, we need to, it's like, okay, you had your fun, <laughs> even though, I don't I don't think the past many years have been fun necessarily, but I feel like the universe is like saying, okay, you've had all these life lessons, you've had to learn all these things, and it's like, now uh, that's over and done with. Now it's time to figure out uh, what you really want in your life. You also have the Three of Cups, which is a card of a celebration. It's also a card of community, and as I've said to everyone, again, if there was ever a time where teamwork makes the dream work, it is right now. Pretty much every single sign I read for uh, gets something about like working together on a team or working with other people. Super important right now. I feel like we kind of will get most of our benefits from people around us. I also kind of feel sometimes that the Three of Cups can represent inspiration. You can say that like the three of cups could be like the reason why we're doing something and you know could be anything could be like a child like sometimes people have children and they become super successful because it's like they have to for the children right um sometimes people you know come up with some goal or idea and they, they get really excited about it and that's what makes them successful uh, sometimes i feel like the three of cups is almost like a muse in that sense it's like the thing that we can focus on to be successful uh, you do have the five of swords here Five of Swords is about like walking away from something. And I do feel like you're walking away from something, but walking away from your old life. Your next card is the Lovers, which could say that you're at a crossroads as far as your love life is concerned or you're trying to make a decision, but it could actually be your uh, be at a crossroads in any area of your life, not just love. And you could be trying to make some choices or decisions based off of like love or who you allow into your life or you know whatever you want to call it. Uh, next, you have this look at the underbelly card. It says, be sure that you are using your time in the best manner. Uh, I kid you not, every single person <laughs> has had some card about like needing to make sure to use your time in the best way possible. It says you might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you are working on 
uh, could use some fine tuning. It is wild. I mean, pretty much every single reading I've done for everybody has had a card like this about like needing to fine tune things. And that's what, uh, you know, I kind of, that's how I kind of feel like about wiggle, like wiggling. You know, I feel like we're kind of maybe Neptune and Pisces, like a wiggle energy where we're kind of like wiggling into something, but there's like a lot of this back and forth energy. I feel like it's becoming, you know, the flexibility card. I was kind of feeling that and it kind of feels like experimentation to me. It's like, you know, you're working towards a goal Maybe you start out like this, but as you kind of like experiment, you know, you get more and more focused until you become, you know, until you find success and whatever your goal is. And that's kind of how I see this here. It's like, I feel like the universe is asking you to pay very, very close attention to like, are you getting closer or farther away from your goals? And uh, how can you find out if you're getting further or closer? Uh, well, number one, I'd say based off your feelings, number one. Number two, uh, this right here, lovers. Lovers is your values. So. Like plain and simple, if you have certain values, if you know what your values are, then you can determine whether or not you're getting closer or farther away. You can you can tell if you're going like this or like this, right? And I feel like to be able to do that, you need to get very clear on your values. Uh, for whatever reason, a couple of signs have had this message at this time. And I feel like it's really important that we get very clear if we don't know, and which is fine. Not a lot. I don't think we take a lot of time to think about this stuff, right? Um, I feel like you need to figure out what your values are. And what I mean by that is like maybe in love, you're wondering, am I going like this or am I going like this? Am I getting more focused? Am I moving more towards a person or away? And the way to figure that out is like maybe your values are that you wanna have a family and kids and you wanna stay home and or maybe you wanna have a career and have kids or whatever, right? If you meet people and they don't share the same values, you're going like this. If they do, then you're going like this in, right? Uh, same thing with work. It's like if you value getting vacation time, but you don't get any vacation time, that's not aligned with your values, right? So it's very important that you align with your values. If you don't know what those things are, then I would say this right here, Hangman. Hangman is about taking some time to gain some wisdom or knowledge. He is making a sacrifice He's put himself in hangman mode so he can gain wisdom or knowledge so he can figure out what he wants, so he can figure out whether he's aligned with his values or not. And that's exactly what you need to do here, Sagittarius. I feel like you need to kind of like get in alignment with this energy and that'll be very beneficial for you. Uh, you do have the three swords. Um, I don't know, I feel this for everybody right now. I do feel like a lot of us are being asked to kind of like cut things out of our life that no longer serve us with that 10 of swords energy. A lot of people have been getting something similar, death, three of swords, 10 of swords, three of swords, nine of swords, three of swords. I feel like a lot of us are kind of being asked to let go of things that no longer serve us, but it could be sad because, you know, it could be a relationship, could be a job that we enjoy, could be anything. I'm pretty sure, sure I said this to you in your last reading. You had a very similar uh, message in one of your past readings. Uh, next, you have this life is a mystery card, this bobcat spirit. I, yeah, I just feel like it's saying life is a mystery. Let's see what the next card is here as well. You have the sandpiper spirit says be playful. Uh, pretty much everyone gets these cards of being playful as well. Uh, in this row, you have the seven of wands, the hermit, and the knight of wands, the king of pentacles, and the nine of cups. Uh, let's start here, Sagittarius. Uh, again, you have the Knight of Wands, Hermit, and Seven of Wands. I kind of feel like this is you going on an adventure. The Hermit is like f to search for inner answers. The Hermit is soul searching. It is going through a dark night of the soul to climb to the top of the mountain. And the Seven of Wands is kind of like defending your position at the top of the hill. For some of you, I feel like you're kind of, this is what I would describe as setting yourself apart energy uh, because it's like the hermit has done something very difficult. He's climbed to the top of the mountain. Not many people want to look, do soul searching. Not many people want to look at themselves. You have this look at the underbelly card. So it's like you're doing some inner examination of yourself and making some decisions. Probably gonna lead to more freedom with that Knight of Wands. The other thing I would say with that Knight of Wands is that the Knight of Wands is a card of being spontaneous. It's a card of being open to random opportunities that come your way. And again, if we're too fixed, if we're too, um, if we're too not open to trying new things, then we will miss out on those opportunities. So uh, I would pay attention to those opportunities like the Knight of Wands, for example. It could just be a random opportunity to try something new in your business. And again, you know, I would just like look at this as like weighing your options. Um, 
It's like if you're gonna try something in your business that really doesn't take much time, it doesn't cost much, totally worth it to at least try it. So I feel like this is being open to trying things. The uh, same thing in love as well. It's like maybe you meet a person, maybe they're okay, you're not really sure. Just go on the date. You don't have to like marry the person right there, right? Go on the date. You never know what could happen. They could surprise you. I kind of feel this energy here is allowing yourself to be surprised or putting yourself in a position uh, where you could be surprised and that's what that's asking for. Uh, because of this right here, I was gonna say why, but because of this King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles is the card of convention. It's like the card of the way things have always been done. Things have always been the same for him. Things have never changed and he needs a change. He needs things to be different. He needs to do things differently so he can be set free. So I feel like you really need to kind of uh, set yourself free here. Uh, so you can have this wish right here, Sagittarius. <laughs> uh, pretty simple reading. I feel like there are wishes coming in for you. I feel like there's wish fulfillment coming in for you, but it's gonna be uh, through being success, uh, being not only successful, yes, I think that is true, but I think it's through um, being uh, flexible and kind of like staying open to other ways of doing things. I just wanna pull a couple extra cards here. Yeah, yeah, you have the moon. The moon is like the fierce. The moon is a card of innovation. Again, that makes sense with being flexible. The moon represents a period of innovation, a period where you have to go down this path, but you're in darkness. And maybe you're not exactly sure if what you're seeing is like light or a shadow, right? A full moon, you can still see the light outside. You can still see, uh, you know, actually a full moon. There is a full, there is a full moon right now <laughs> on the 16th. Uh, and uh, what I would say here is, is like when it's full moon, it's still bright out, but it's like, is it a shadow? Am I seeing an illusion? Am I seeing something real? You just have to go down the path with the moon card to find success. Now you have the chariot, definitely a victory coming in for you here, Sagittarius, or some sort of win. Uh, so love it. And you have the Page of Cups. Uh, Page of Cups could be love, but the Page of Cups I really would say with the moon is a dream because he's imagining that fish that's in the cup. He's trying to manifest that fish in the cup, whatever it may be, and it might not exist, but <laughs> he's gonna try to manifest it anyway. So I kind of feel like you're manifesting some sort of uh, goal wish or dream here, Sagittarius. Probably not gonna be necessarily easy. I feel like you're gonna have to be flexible in how you accomplish this dream. So I would definitely be flexible at this time. Any soul searching would be very beneficial as well. But that's uh, part one. Part two is pinned in the top comment down below.